Welcome to Miss Smith's Math Tutorials. I'm Miss Smith. In this video, we're going to talk about just different circle vocab terms that are important to know. So this first one we're going to talk about is called a secant. Notice that it is a line that crosses through the circle and it continues on. It has an arrow on both sides, which means it stretches on. It doesn't just stop when the circle stops. So it's important that when we label a secant that we use the two letters and that above it we put a line with arrows because that's showing that it's a continuing line, not just a segment. The next one we're going to talk about is a tangent. Notice that a tangent also has two arrows at the end, but the difference here is this one comes through touches the circle and then keeps going. It doesn't actually cross through the circle like a secant would. So that would be a tangent. And when we write that, we would write it as, in this case, CD, we'd write it as tangent. And then above CD, you'd want a little line with arrows because it is a line that continues. Our next one is chord. For this one, notice it's very similar to a secant, but it just stops, right? So there's no extending line. A chord, it's very important to note, does not cut through the center of the circle. That would be something different. So a chord is from one edge of the circle to the other, but it does not cross the center. It is a segment though. It doesn't continue on with arrows. If it continued on with arrows, then it'd be a secant. So for this one, when we label it, so in this case EF, so chord EF gets just a little segment above the EF. The next one is radius. So a radius starts at the center of a circle and it just extends to the edge of the circle. So it covers the halfway distance across a circle. And it is also a line segment. So in this case, the way we wrote GH is GH with a little segment above it. For this one, notice it's similar to a radius, but this time instead of just being half the circle, it's the full length across the circle. It's very important to know it crosses through the center of the circle. And that's what differentiates it from, say, a chord, which does not cross through the center of the circle. And it doesn't have to be going horizontal like this. It could be going this way or this way. It doesn't matter, but it crosses through the center and, and covers the whole distance of the circle. So that's called a diameter. In this case, it would be IJ. And again, it is a segment. So we do a segment IJ. The next one is a semicircle. And it's this part that I've kind of darkened here. It's an arc that covers exactly half the circle. That would be called a semicircle. And the way we would write that is, if this was a K, L, and M, we'd write it with that little arc above it. We can also have arc lengths that are not just half the circle. Notice this one. This is a little space of arc length. So if we wanted to know the distance from here to here, we can mark that with the little tick marks or we can darken it. Um, and we'll have other videos where we look at specifically finding arc length, but that little shaded area would be the arc length. So there's two different types of arc length. We could have a major arc length, which would be over half the circle. It's really important that if we're labeling a major arc that we use three letters. So in this case, we would use N O P. And that tells the reader that it's not, if you just put arc NP, right, which is what sometimes people want to do, then they would be left wondering, okay, is that this arc right here, NP, or is that this arc right here, NP? So it creates confusion. So we eliminate that confusion by if it's a major arc, we use three letters, N-O-P. We could also have a minor arc. A minor arc would be considered less than half of the circle. So in this case, it's QR. So it's okay to use just two letters for a minor arc because that tells the reader it's less than half the circle, right? You would never read this as Q all the way around R because it's only used two letters. All right, this has been Miss Miss Math Tutorials.